it's Mrs. Selma again, and I wanted to read you another story. This is one of my favorite books. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And Eric Carl not only wrote this story, he also made the pictures. So we're going to get started. He says, here's the dedication page. It says, for my sister, Krista. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You can see that big moon and that small, small egg. And I have this little small, small caterpillar egg toy too. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look, here I have this little caterpillar. At school somewhere in a box, I have the little caterpillar from this story, but I don't have that at home. But I do have this little caterpillar. He's kind of bumpy. He started to look for some food. He's going to look around and see what there is to eat for a caterpillar. On Monday, Monday, that's the first school day of the week. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Right there, see? But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, Tuesday, that's the next school day of the week. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but Friday, on Friday, he was still hungry. Wow. He is eating a lot of fruit wonder where all these fruits are growing. I think some of them are growing on trees and some of them are growing from the ground. Oh my gosh. On Saturday. Look at this. Look at all that food. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. There it is, that chocolate cake. One ice cream cone one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, he says, I feel sick. The next day was Sunday again. He ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. He said, leaves are better food than cake for caterpillars. Now, oh, look at that caterpillar. Now, he wasn't a hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon. The word says cocoon, but a butterfly really makes something different. It's called a chrysalis. It's kind of like a cocoon, but scientific accuracy here. This is my chrysalis that I have. It's so little and cute. He built a small house called a chrysalis around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole 
pushed his way out and I wonder what's gonna happen. What will come out? Look. He was a beautiful butterfly. And I have a little butterfly too. This goes with my little egg and caterpillar and chrysalis set. Here's my little butterfly. They have different colors, but they are both butterflies. And that's the end. I really love this book. I hope you love it too. It makes me think about spring and we're having a lot of signs of spring right now. If you go outside, maybe you can see some buds growing on the trees. Maybe you can hear some birds singing. Maybe you might see some flowers that are starting to grow. I hope you have a great day. Bye.